Hi friends. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can build one of these exhaust fan in any of your bathrooms. So I wanted to install this in one of my common bathroom and I was on carousel and browsing through and I was quoted by these contractors a hefty $380 to just install one of these fans. So I thought maybe I should do it myself and hopefully get to save some money. If that sounds interesting to you, do continue watching the video and do consider subscribing to this channel if you like more DIY videos like this one. Let's get started. We start off by first sketching the outline on a 3mm acrylic panel. The overall dimension should be large enough to cover the entire window opening and I need a small notch on the left to make room for the louver window handle. The diameter of the center cutout will be where we place the exhaust fan and it is also indicated in the manual that comes with the fan. The next step would be to cut the acrylic. I initially used the rotary tool to cut the acrylic but it wasn't the correct tool to use for this case and it took me nearly 2 hours to complete the cut. And what's worse was that I had marked the diameter of the hole wrongly for the exhaust fan and the cutout was oversized. To spare myself the pain of having to repeat the entire process, I bought a custom cut acrylic on Shopee and you can find the price difference in the description and for those who wish to cut the acrylic yourself, I would recommend using a jigsaw to cut instead. This piece that you are seeing here was machined to the exact dimension that I have given and the seller even delivered it to me 2 days after I've placed my order. So shout out to them for such great service. Now we will prepare for installation of the acrylic. Because my existing bathroom has louver window installed, I need to first remove the window panels. Once it's done, we will mark the position of the rivets that will be used to hold the acrylic sheet in place. I did the marking using a ruler and a correction fluid. And the rivet that we will be using here is a 4mm rivet, 3 on each side of the window. The next step is to drill the mounting holes. Position the acrylic over the window and drill the holes using a 4mm drill bit. You might want to get another person to help you hold the acrylic in place so that you can focus on drilling. Next, you will want to remove the acrylic and dust off any aluminium and acrylic bits that is trapped between the window and the acrylic. We can now move on to installing the acrylic panel with rivets and a riveting gun. The next step is to connect the Towson fan to a power source. If your house do not currently have a power point above the window, you will need to engage an electrician to lay the electrical cables for you. I got my friend Mr. Tan to help with the installation and he quoted me $80 to wire it to the same lighting switch or $120 to wire it to a 2 gang switch. I went with the $120 option as I want to have the flexibility of either turning on the lights or the fan separately. The code also includes replacing my old switch to a 2 gang switch. So in a normal quiet room, we are typically getting around 35 decibels. And as I'm speaking, we can see that it hits around 50 to 60 decibels. So I'm going to start the fan now. And you can see how much noise it actually generates. So the noise from the fan we are getting around 45 decibels. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close the toilet door um, and that actually kind of generate more noise because uh, of the lower pressure within the bathroom. So 
So that gets us to around 52 decibels. And the reason why there is more noise now is because there's lower pressure in the bathroom. So air actually starts to escape um, from the edges of the exhaust fan. All in all, the material cost for this DIY project is around $190. That is 50% of what I was quoted. Of course, I did spend slightly more due to the wastage of the first acrylic panel and also time doing trial and error so that you can learn from my mistakes and hopefully do it better for your own installation. There is one thing that I would recommend you guys to do and that is to seal up the edges around the acrylic using silicon as that will help to keep out water and dirt from seeping through the gaps. That is all for now and I'll see you next time.